Hello everyone, Big A here. And let's do a flying glass. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clothen, your attention please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, <laughs> please welcome a new student to our flying class. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver. <laughs> Interesting, they never safe. use my name. <laughs> As right is, first and foremost, Just an means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop the loops will not be taught or, in fact, tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it. <laughs> now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the Kind of like holidays. her, actually. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. <laughs> up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. <clears throat> Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do I I take own, care. Yeah. The brooms are school proper. This will take some getting I want used them returned to. in one piece. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Okay. What a view! <laughs> <laughs> Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Yeah, technically this would be like a first year. Technically. Sure does. Seen him quite a few times at, when I'm around here. Ah. Uh, come on. Ha! Good. Uh. you fly through those rings you seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging but I'm getting ahead of myself we met in the common room I'm Everett Clopton so care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun I guess so sure what did you have especially in the flying part a bit of a detour so to speak follow me First, we will get in trouble. About to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. <laughs> yeah, black nice doesn't like that thing. kind of stuff. Hmm. Ahead 
into the gardens. The Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something <laughs> handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's Pretty amazing the views, I will say that. All the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. And there's Quidditch. And I've been to the Owlery. Actually, I do need to That's get the back there. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Looks like she's already dismissed guard. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? <laughs> oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Don't. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor. Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. <laughs> I just love it. He, you, you get reprimanded, but they're like, Oh, but you did awesome! Sorry about that business with Kagawa. <laughs> but you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Off on another adventure, are we? All right, so let's go to Hogsmeade and let's go get some. Does it get any more cozy? How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery. I thought you might be interested. <laughs> Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Ah, new face! Wonderful! Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. 
Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear fly in them, likely to do with the yew wand's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of the many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Okay, may I'm able to like Yeah, I'm able to take a few nice doing business with you. Okay, don't know about those yet. Okay, so let me see here. Yeah. I think that's the one I took the first time around because it had the blue thing there. But. That item is of the highest quality. Mm -hmm. The Ember Dash. Sounds pretty cool. That mm. item is of the highest quality. I think I'm gonna have a speedy broom. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. I might actually take two. For the time being. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about <coughs> you! I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She <laughs> thinks it fit in I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or Puddle Me United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Revelio. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Okay. Don't know if I want to do that yet. Okay, so I'm using that broom yet. Okay. And yeah, from time to time you get different brooms that you can try out. I haven't really tried 
many brooms for the same person, so. Okay. Actually, I really don't want to do the Quidditch burn. Anything else? Uh, one more thing. Sebastian. And let's learn configure configo. It's going to show me a secret room. Mm. How nice to see you, my young friend. Yeah, I heard that. Complete the tasks I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. <laughs> you never know. This way. I bet you uh, Dumbledore knew about There's this place. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Although I think this is before Dumbledore. Kind of funny that I had to put myself in there rather than he actually opening the door. <laughs> How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was <laughs> born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained Confringo. hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. Mm. But you should learn it. I can tell. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Okay. 
Okay. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Time being sticks to right. targets, though. Best to keep the undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Good <laughs> Rizzo, you nice work. How's it feel? That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo. We singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. <laughs> with all the people I'm being attacked with? Yes. <laughs> Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Mm. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way... What was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Revelio. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. 
Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. How rude. Lumos. Oh, hold on. More money. <laughs> All right. All right, folks. I'm going to go ahead and take off on that. And take care. Please like and subscribe.